One day I was looking at one of the fathers of faith, Dr. Paul Enechen. I was looking at the big auditorium. You see, he has the biggest auditorium in the whole world now, 100,000 seats. And I was looking at the person that built this thing, very lanky. You t I thought anybody that needs to build something have to be, you know, the fat man of God. But he's small, very small. But his heart is big. Yes, 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 yes. You can be small in size, but let your will be strong. I see people turning from warm to mighty men of valor. <laughs> You might come from a poor background. Let your will be strong. Listen, no matter how your mouth is cold, nobody drink hot water. No matter how you think your mouth is a freezer, nobody eats hot soup. If you think you are impatient, hot soup will make you patient. If you think you are impatient, hot water will make you patient. If the devil think he's stubborn, when you are hot, he will run away from you. Am I communicating to somebody? You think God does not know why he called himself the consuming fire? Ah, I saw some people came warm today, but now I'm seeing fire. Listen, in the days of Pentecost, God knew how difficult this world was. So when he sent the Holy Spirit, the Bible says everyone's head was carrying a cloth, a, a tongue of fire. God did not give it to some, he gave it to all. All of you here, I see fire on you. Your body might be sick, but let your will be strong that you will be healed not even the devil can kill you when you have a strong will every challenge bow to those with strong will i see all the challenges bowing to you in the name of jesus say i have a strong will say i'm not cold i'm not warm i am hot say my god is a consuming fire i am a consuming fire Ah! Look at your neighbor. Say, I see fire on your head. I see fire around you. I see fire in front of you. Say, neighbor, you are fire.